Hecate, hear me. Nocticula, Hecate, hear me. By Barabbas, by Satanas, by Chernanios. Belius, hear me, conjured be. Mateus, Celsus, Chidu. Pyrrhus, Narbus, Osborne. Satanus by Chernanios. Are you sure? Because just give him a little air, okay? 
Maybe he could use a few friends right now. Well, it's hard being friends with somebody that's walking around in a daze. But if he starts loading up, I'm just gonna have Larry. Dave can come. Hi, oh, Wendy. Dave. Hi, Dave. Everybody, sit down, please. Right now, please. I want you all to. <clears throat> I want you all to. Uh... Mr. Hildebrand is dead. It's an automobile accident late last night. He, he was killed. Uh, I don't know anything else. I don't mean to be blunt. Uh, I'd like you all to go over to the, the study hall for the rest of this period and take your other classes as usual. Then tomorrow, the... Tomorrow there'll be a, a substitute. And, uh... That, that's it, you dismiss thing. Now, please, now, 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 go, thank you, go, thank you. Mm -hmm. Vivian, may I talk to you for a moment, please? Of course. My God. In the, in the past two years, first was the, the, the bus accident with the rally squad, then D'Angelo. Sorry, Vivian. The kids really love Carl, didn't you? He's a wonderful teacher. There's a lot more than that, Mr. Clausen, but you know that. Yeah, I do. We're supposed to go fishing together on Saturday. Neither one of us is very good at it. <laughs> uh, the reason uh, I wanted to talk to you... Carl called me last night, late, 10.30, quarter of 11. He was on his way to my place when... when it happened. He, uh... he was upset. And he wanted to talk about you. About me? That's what he said. I thought you might have some idea what it was about. No. No, n none at all. Well, it, we were supposed to induce false pregnancy in the rats and then cut them open. I, I couldn't. Well, he wouldn't come over my place at 11 o'clock at night over something like that. He would have handled that himself. Mr. Clausen, I wanted to ask you, uh, can I take up a collection? I think the class would like to send flowers. <laughs> it's very thoughtful of you. The icy stare, David. Oh, yeah? Well, what about Mr. Hildebrand? He was gonna flunk me. That would have totaled my football eligibility, right, Viv? You know, you're really round the bend, Dave. God only knows why I even care. And you know, Wendy thinks you're shooting up, and everyone around here is just waiting for you to make your re-entry, and that includes me. You know, you'd better get a grip on yourself. You're gonna end up in more trouble than you're already in. What's that supposed to mean? It means that you just better get your act together. You're going to start doing your homework and making football practice and stop acting like Captain Space. Well, I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment to you. Maybe you better look for another van to ride in, huh? Sorry. 
I didn't mean to bother you. It's just that you look like you might be sick. This is one of my better days. Well, I could get you some water or something. That is, if I knew where to find a cup or a drinking fountain. This is my first day here. I'm Robin Prentice. Hi, I'm Dave Sterling. Are you sure there's nothing I can get you? No, thanks. What are you doing out here, anyway? Well, I was supposed to start classes this morning, but Mr. Clausen asked me to wait. He said there was a death on the faculty. Yeah, Mr. Hildebrand, biology. Really terrific guy. I mean, tough, but terrific. Everybody liked him. Does something about his death frighten you? W why do you say that? I don't know. Forget it. You know he was gonna flunk me? Mr. Hildebrand? Yeah, except now he doesn't get the chance to. So Dave keeps on throwing that football. <laughs> Works out just great, doesn't it? You feel responsible? I don't. Well, I don't really. Hey, look, can we change the subject? Uh, sure. So, why'd you start school so late? Well, my dad was transferred out here, and our home in Connecticut didn't sell, and then we couldn't find one out here, so here I am, three weeks late. Yeah, well, you'll like it here. I mean, we have ice cream all year round. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, look, I gotta get going. Thanks for the Medicare, anyway. Aren't you the uh, quarterback on the team? The one who got into trouble? So I read the local throwaway. Well, that's one press clipping I'm not keeping. I didn't save it either. <laughs> you said your name was Robin, right? Look, Robin, if, if you don't mind being seen with this week's number one case of the flu, maybe I could show you around the territory after school. Don't you have football practice? <laughs> OK, after practice. Okay. I think I'm going to like it here. Yeah, well, you don't want to lunge into your first impression. <laughs> Take it from a master. I'll see you later. Ready, set, go! What are you doing, Sterling? You drop back here three yards, huh? Like you're gonna have a beer? Hit the showers. If you don't want to play, I don't want you. McCarroll, come on, you're in the saddle. Let's go, a little hustle. Ends and backs deep. Come on, give me a little life now, let's go. Okay, Devon and I came up with a new cheer, so let's try to get it right, okay? Ready? Oh, I love you. Oh, that Frankel's a creep. We got us a chair. All right, all right, knock it off, all right. Just get the junk out of the back seat, okay? Yes, Mr. Frank. And not the board. Mr. Frank, oh, man, what are you doing? You're giving everybody a headache. What am I doing? I'm doing favors, and all I'm getting is complaints. Pevney's on my case. Now you're on my case. Oh, I can't wait till my mom finds out she can only sit three at the breakfast table. Besides, Dave, the waves are breaking four to five foot out of Zuma. So what do you say, you finished here yet? Oh, yeah, I'm finished. I'm... I don't know, maybe some other time, huh? Well, as new as you lose. All right, let's remember. Let's keep our hands straight, our arms straight, and shout, and get energy, and jump out of it together. Devona, take over for me, will you? Sure. Well, let's right. just try it one hey, time. Hey, I'll be out of these pads in 30 seconds, okay? Okay. You're Robin Prentice, right? I asked. I'm Vivian Sutherland. Hi, Vivian. Oh, I see you've got a mascot. Oh, he won't hurt you. He's just a little bit skittish. I talked the team into adopting him last week. You're getting kind of a late start, aren't you? My father was transferred out here. I wish I'd been here in time to try for your rally squad. I was on the team back home. I wish you had been, too. We got a couple of real left feet out there. I don't see any. Well, Devona's OK yeah. and Lily, but... Uh, Unique. We're gonna win. We're gonna oh, shit. Oh, Monique, are you all right? What'd you do? Oh, Monique, I think she's hurt. Oh, oh Monique, don't move. No, oh. you're supposed to stand on it. You're supposed to stand on a sprain. It keeps down the swell. Well, what if it is a sprain, Lily? Well, how's it? 
Meg, what happened? Did it just twist out from under you? I heard something crack. I think I broke it. Oh, Monique, don't worry. It's probably nothing. Move back, fella. Here, come in through. It. Come in through. Give me a little room, will you? Come, come in through. Oh. Let me see, honey. Take it easy now. Just take it easy. We're going to get you to a doctor. You'll be all right. Easy. Easy now. Give me a little help. Let's get her up there. Easy. Oh. Come on. Easy. Poor Monique. Being replaced is going to hurt her much more than that knee. Well, do you have to replace her? At least for the time being. Would you like to do it? Me? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is my first day. I don't think it would be fair. I say what's fair around here. It's my squad. Well, there must have been a lot of other girls who tried out for it. Maybe you should get one of them. No, I'd rather use you. Wait, we'll get to know each other a little better. You know, I think I even have some stuff to fix you. Oh, Vivian, I don't really want to. Sterling, one-time star quarterback. Dave, this is Robin. We've met. Now, so much for the introductions. Uh, coach let you off a little early, huh, Dave? Yeah, Vivian, dismissed and replaced. It was a total wipeout. Too bad for the both of us, huh? You know, Dave, things could get a little dangerous for you out there. You don't try real hard to do your best. You know, I heard some of the guys talking. They said when a player dogs it, he's more apt to get hurt. Well, thanks for the terrific advice. Off to somewhere special. Oh, look, I feel like I'm in the middle of something that I don't understand, so why don't I take a rain check? Rain check on what? We're gonna go check out the swells. Frankel said they're really up at Zoom, okay? Oh, Dave, I, I, I thought you quit surfing. At least that's what you told me last week. Well, I started again this morning. Come on, Robin. Hey, listen, stay away from her, okay? going in today? No, not today. You've missed it, haven't you? Yeah. I just didn't know how much, though. I mean, even the wipeouts. That sounds kind of weird, huh? No. <laughs> I'm kind of that way about skiing. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, we got that here, too. California's got something for everybody. Why did you stop coming out here? Mm -hmm. I just didn't feel like it, I guess. What happened three weeks ago? something you don't want to talk about, I guess. Hey, look, there's nothing on the page as far as we're concerned. That's why I invited you down here. I... There's just no past, no, no explanations. I can understand that. Sometimes it helps not have any history. You don't have to say why you did this or why you didn't do that. I kind of like having a blank page myself. Only trouble is it just doesn't stay blank. Yeah. I know what you mean. Electricity, I guess. Dave, who's Vivian? Well, you sure have the habit of throwing a lot of hard lefts in a conversation. Well, who is she? Miss Honor Roll. It's homecoming. Everybody's most popular. Yours? Yeah, we used to date. Tell about three weeks ago? Hey, look. Right now, I'm just trying to stay out of the white water and get to the beach, okay? Okay. We won't talk about Vivian. Hey, uh... Look, I'm sorry. I... I've been in a lousy mood lately. I, I didn't mean to take it out on you. You're not. Besides, you're my first friend. Without you, it might have taken me days to find the Pacific. Robin, I don't, I don't think I'm the kind of friend you're looking for anyway. I think you are, Dave. I think we're both a couple of outsiders. It's kind of nice to know you're not out there all alone. 
We better go. Thanks for today, Dave. You know, I was really scared about starting school late, about meeting people and fitting in. But you made it a lot easier for me. Hey, I'm glad. I just needed to talk to someone. Someone's moving fast. I didn't quite expect visitors this soon. Oh, well, uh, we met at school this morning. Hi. Dave I'm... Sterling, I know. Robin and I read about you on the papers. Met at school, eh? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they lifted my suspension. Didn't want to lose their prize quarterback. No, I guess not. Uh, look, Robin, uh, I'll see you later, OK? It's nice meeting you. Hmm. Hey, Dave, wait a minute. OK. Daddy. Your first day and you end up with a school drunk. He's not like that. He drove his van through the window of a sporting goods store. He was kicked out of school, kicked off the football team. I know what I read. Robin, you read it too. They took him back. That was a mistake, if you ask me. Big man on campus. I know the type. I was hoping that you were going to get off to a good start here. I am. I have to go get my books. The papers say what happened. They didn't say why. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. You've got your reasons. I would like us to be friends, Dave. That's important to me. Friends? Thanks. I had a really nice day today. An elective? Hey, look, um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Look at Jay, hear me. Not particular, I could talk to him. By the Robbins. By Satanus. By Jenner. I was sitting in the middle of nowhere, waiting to be killed, waiting for the girl with my name on it, the one marked Hollywood Trump guy. Bob Savage, you don't know the man. She whispered. My name was not reported in my book. It's decaffeinated. Hi, yes, for a beer. It's too late. I always get myself, yes. How do you tell the ones who have This is a rerun. Life is a rerun. <laughs> Look, I've almost got it licked. Would you hand me that Allen wrench, please? Thank you, Doug. Clickwick. That's what I'm going to call it. Did I tell you that? And Vivian came up with a name. What a mind. Clickwick. <laughs> Guys on Madison Avenue are going to lap that up. Aren't liars mostly butane now? Well, you throw away, sure. But you get your class item. It's, it's still wicks. Do you ever try changing one of these things? Then don't try and tell me it's not going to sell. You can sell anything. $19.95, $7.50, $12.99. Now, that is uh, a pineapple slicer that I got out of your kitchen. Now, how many pineapples you bought in your life, Di? Don't tell me it's not going to sell. What the devil is she cooking up there? What kind of homework are they giving them in chemistry? Phew. She's spending too much time in her room, Shrem. You ought to talk to her about that. Don't you knock it off, Di. 
You were always after me to get on the others because they weren't doing enough. And now I'm supposed to get on her because she is? Geez, you got practically a grade-A student up there. But the honor roll, which is a hell of a lot more than you can say for any of the others. You know what your problem is, Di? You never wanted her in the first place. Sure. That's true, you never did. You wanted to get rid of her. The only one worth frying an egg for, and you wanted to get rid of her. Six is plenty, you said. It's only gonna be another girl. All right, Sharon. Uh, you did it, Steph. Bugs out of CC, and I hocked my bridge work to get her there. Mary Ann. She runs off with that no good, crooked house painter. Hitler was a house painter. Then fumes that make him crazy. Mary Ann's very happy. How happy is she gonna be when he ends up in the slammer, huh? There's not one of them that gives a thought about me. I'll tell you that for a fact. What they can get out of me, that's all. That's not true, sure. Kids are selfish. Oh, kids, gee, Berlin's pushing 30. And you, you can't name one time any of the others would come by the factory to see me. Vivian's coming by work to see you? Why? <laughs> oh, that tells me a lot. Why? You know what I mean, Sharon. She sees you at home. Well, maybe she doesn't see enough of me at home. So she comes by the job. We have a cup of coffee, and then we talk about this and that. Vivian thinks I got a good chance of taking that foreman slot now that Herm's gone. What happened to Herm? Didn't I tell you about that? I remember talking with Vivian about it. Oh, well, no matter. Herm had a heart attack. Happened last week, right there on the loading dock. One minute he's fine, and next thing you know, he turns this funny blue color, and over he goes. But Herm's only about 35. How could he have a heart attack? Anybody can have a heart attack. All it takes is a heart to get my meaning, Di. Oh, well, anyway, he's, he's gonna be fine. He'll probably be up on blocks for six months. Vivian thinks I got a pretty good shot at that job. Of course, going to be a lot more responsibility. Yeah, a lot more money, too. Then you can buy her everything she wants. So that makes me a criminal. I just want what's best for her, that's all. Don't you? Yes, sir. I want what's best. you try when I got transferred out here. I mean, God, we sold the house, I took a cut in pay, we left everything behind, everyone. Now you promised me you'd try to control it. What do you want me to do? I don't know. <laughs> Daddy, please. You're the only person I can talk to about this healthy. I can't. I went through this with your mother, Robin. I can't go through it again. Look, haven't you learned anything? You saw what happened back home. You told Charmaine she was going to go into a diabetic coma and she had no history of diabetes. I had to tell her. She was my best friend. 
I wanted her to see a doctor. I was trying to save her life. And you damn near ruined your own. You saw what happened when she did go into a coma. They were afraid to ask you how you knew. Everyone. They treated you like a pariah. Steve, Charmaine, everyone. Look, Robin, I just don't understand. I don't understand. None of your sisters were like this. I know. And I'm sorry. But it isn't something that I do. It just happens to me. And it's changing. It's getting stronger. Today at school, this girl, she just touched me. And it was like, it was horrible. It was like a nightmare. All I want is for you to be happy. But we can't keep running. I don't want to run anymore. I'm tired of being afraid. I'm going to find out what this is, and I'm going to do something about it. Just be has she? Hecate, hear me. Nocticula, Hecate, hear your servant. I name her Robin Prentice. Woman or witch, I so name her. Malediction. Deep affliction. Come on, Dave. We're going to be late for class. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Surf's up. Straight from Weather Willie. Hurricane Java plunked out into a tropical storm. But they're rolling in eight feet out of Malibu. We're going to ditch last class. Oh, well, I got plans. No, you haven't. Oh, you mean with Robin? Dave, haven't you heard? She's out sick today. What are you talking about? Robin, she's out sick. What's the matter with her? Well, how would I know? It's probably just some virus. Vivian, if you've done anything to hurt Let's her, I'd get I something straight, Dave. You know, even though you're half tipped over these days, you're still my boyfriend. This thing with Robin makes me look like an also ran. Dave. Where's the old Dave? You're good for me. I, I need you. I, I like the feel of you. You know, I can be a lot of fun, remember? I can be more fun than before. Forget that. Does everybody who's involved with me have a target painted on their forehead? Are we speaking figuratively or literally? Hey, look, Vivian, I know what you are. And I know what you can do. And I'm asking, no, I'm begging you. Leave Robin alone. Leave us alone. I guess that's pretty much up to you, Dave. Isn't it? My dad, it happened last night. Oh, Dave, he's in so much pain, and they don't even know what's wrong with him. They thought it was his heart, and now they don't know, and they're running off. Wait a sec, wait a sec. I have to talk to you about Vivian. Dave, I can't even think now. Just talk to me later when okay, I get back. Okay, okay, okay. Just please be careful. The waves are really great today. Did you see mm -hmm. that last wave that Mike got? That was incredible. <laughs> I couldn't believe he did that. Huh? I swear she got half the football team out there. Uh, safety of numbers, I guess. <laughs> did you hear that, Di? We're saying safety of numbers, huh? At least she's not going to be spending all of her time on that Dave. 
You know, that was getting just a little too serious for me. She can't be Daddy's little girl forever, sure. Oh, no? Just don't you go count on that. Comedians, you know. You said comedians. I heard you, sure. Comedians. You know what your problem is? You know that she's the only one out of the lot that's going to make something out of herself. And you flat can't stand that. That's what your problem is, Diane. That's not true. Oh, it's true. You're pea green jealous of your own daughter. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, see you, Vivian. Goodbye. Mom? Then it's gonna be a little late. Too many interruptions. Oh, don't worry about anything for me. I ate on the way home. Where's Dad? Probably watching TV. Hmm, first chance. Hello? Yes, I'd like to speak with Robin Prentice, please. Uh, she's not here right now. She's at the hospital. Hospital? What's wrong with her? Nothing. It's Mr. Prentice. Uh, Look, I really shouldn't discuss this. I'm just here to pick up some papers we need at the office. Uh, you can probably reach Robin later tonight. Uh, yes. Yes, thank you. There's a new girl in school named Robin Prentice. Is she? Yeah, I think she is, because I can't get to her. Gonna buy me a car. He hadn't mentioned it, huh? When did all this happen? Well, we talked about it on the way to school this morning. He told me I could start looking right away, and then just as soon as they make him foreman, he'll make the down payment. The job isn't his yet. Sure it is. I'm gonna go up to my room. I have some work to do. No phone calls or interruptions, okay? Vivian. You gotta stop it. Now. Today. This minute. You have to stop. You're mad about the car. I don't give a damn about the car. Only about how you got it. You have to stop. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, come on, Mom. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know I'm not going to live in a dump like this for the rest of my life. I'm not going to marry someone like simple Simon in there. He's a good, decent man who loves you with all his heart. His choice, not mine. Vivian. You had the power and you just threw it away. You settled for this. Is that supposed to inspire me somehow? You could have had anything you wanted. It's not a gift, Vivian. Don't you see that? It's a curse. It got me my wheels. It's gonna get me where I wanna go. That's all you care about. Sorry if that offends you. It doesn't offend me. It breaks my heart. I did this to you. Oh, now is this where you start crying and... Tell me to be a good little girl. Look, just because you chose not to use it doesn't mean I have to. Want to know the truth? I think you were scared, and I think you were stupid. I'm neither one. I'm going to have what's out there. I'm going to have it all. What about the things you won't have? It's a trade-off, Vivian. You know that. What about the things you won't ever enjoy? The things you won't ever feel? What about the loneliness? Don't tell me you don't feel that. I've seen it. Like you said, Mom. It's a trade-off. I'm gonna stop you. Oh, Mom. That power came to you through me. I have it, too. You haven't used it. You've never exercised it. It's gone weak and flabby on you, Mom. You think so? Don't try me, Vivian.
right, Mom. Yes, it's time. You're a friend, right? Yeah, yeah. Is she okay? Well, I could take her to the hospital. But she seems to be okay, not suffering from any smoke inhalation. Uh, I was a little concerned about what drugs she's been taking. 
But she says it's a sedative her father's doctor gave her. Oh, yeah, her father's in the hospital. Yeah. Well, look, if there's any way she could stay tonight, you might think about taking her there. I don't think she ought to try to sleep in a burned-out home alone. Yeah, but you're sure she's okay? I mean, I could take her to see a doctor. If it'll make you feel better, but I honestly don't think it's necessary. Look, thanks a lot. You got it, Mummy. You okay? Are you sure? What were you doing here? I was afraid something was going to happen to you. I came over here and parked, and I don't know. I felt silly doing it, but I'm sure glad I did. Thank you. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, come on, let's get out of here, okay? I've got to get dressed. That's why I didn't tell you before. You say that to somebody, and all of a sudden, they start giving you polite, glassy smiles. All right. I'm listening. Go on. Okay. It started last year. We were down at the beach. I locked my money in the van, and I looked in Vivian's bag. I was going to borrow a quarter to call home. You know what she had in her coin purse? What? A spider. And it was dead. Dried up, but not crumbly. It was um, preserved in some way. And there was some kind of some kind of root, and a little glass vial with powder in it, and, I don't know, it looked like human hair. Did you ask her about it? Yeah, she said she was going to go play some practical joke on somebody. D'Angelo, Mr. Hildebrand. That's some joke. What are you talking about? Mr. Hildebrand was going to flunk me. That would have kept me out of Saturday's game. He ends up dead. And it's after I start dating her that D'Angelo has this heart attack, our star quarterback, and I wound up with his spot on the team. He's popping digitalis because Vivian won't be seen dating a second stringer. Why don't you go to the police? And tell them what? They put me in some basket weaving class. Wait, look, Robin, you know that, that witchcraft book I've been carrying around with me? Come here, I want to show you something. I checked it out of the library a couple weeks ago. When it first hit me, I just didn't believe it. Three weeks ago? Well, I tried to get rid of it. I didn't want to know what I already knew. Getting drunk's a real adult reaction, huh? Okay, look. You see that? That's called the demonic circle. Do you see what it says right there at the edge? Souther. Vivian's name is Sutherland, Robin. It could be directions. It could mean south. Yeah, but she also owns a black cat, which is a traditional, which is familiar. And they use mice and toads and, and weasels and crows and... Okay, look. They nourish them now and then with a drop of blood. I don't want to hear any more of this. Can we get out of here, please? Dave, because what I just gave you is research. I also have some hunches, and some of them are about you. That scar on your finger, where did you get it? It was an accident. I got my fingers caught in the car door when I was two. Vivian has a scar just like that. Same finger, same place. It's a sign of power. It's like being a seventh daughter of a seventh daughter. Vivian is, you know. That gives her the powers, too, the gift of prophecy. I'm a seventh daughter but it doesn't give you the gift of prophecy or anything else. Just a lot of hand-me-downs and a long wait for the bathroom. Look, Robin, Vivian's been throwing a lot of stuff at you, including what happened to your father. What do you mean, my father? Well, the doctors don't know what's wrong with him, do they? 
and it happened like that. It's some kind of spell, something Vivian mumbo-jumboed up, only instead of hitting you, it hits your dad. Because you have the powers yourself. I think that they shielded you. You know, sort of the ultimate ricochet. They're up in Carmel. They're not due back till Tuesday. Okay, okay. How about if, um, if you take my room and I'll take theirs? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to sleep anyway. Dave, I'm so scared. Oh, hey, hey, come on. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're all right. You're safe here. Better? Come on, I'm not getting an answer from you. Better. But I'm still scared, aren't you? I'm just in a minor state of panic. Wow, you know... You know how good that is, being able to say that? I mean, that's been the worst problem, not being able to tell anybody, not being able to talk about it. I know. My dad keeps trying to pretend like I'm nearly normal. If we don't mention my problems, they might go away. You couldn't tell your parents? You know, they're okay. It's just... Oh, well, it's been tough on them, too. I mean, having... The only kid doing a 180 on you is not exactly what I'd call, well, let's just say they're very disappointed. It's been rough on you, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, it wasn't until you came along. The only thing I can't handle is the guilt. Just knowing that... All those people were getting hurt to make me into something that everyone wanted but Vivian had. Dave, that's not your fault. Yeah, that's what Mrs. Moore keeps telling me, but... Emily Moore. She's this lady. I read about her in the paper when the cops brought her in on a missing persons case, and... I've been seeing her about Vivian. I think you should go to see her, too. I don't know. I told my father I was going to face this. Hey, Robin, thing. listen. I feel like I've put you in the spot. The least I can do is try and get you out of it. Why? I've been nothing but trouble. Why do you even care? Why do you think? Your parents. <sighs> Shut up. We've got till Tuesday. Sounds like something out of one of those rags you buy at the supermarket at the checkout stands. But that seventh daughter nonsense is not necessarily nonsense. They're ready, Mom. The timer just went off. Okay, take them out. Use a pot holder. Bake sale at school. Everybody I know is on a diet, and they still have these bake sales. <laughs> well, anyway, got the eighth grade to Magic Mountain last year. I don't know if you have powers. Let's say the signs are there. Classic witch name. Prentice. Prentice, yes. There was a Joan Prentice, I think, in medieval times. No, I was referring to the name Robin, a name classically given to the head of a coven. The coven's 13 people. As in Robin Hood and his 12 merry men? Robin Hood. Haven't you ever wondered about the number 13? Why it's feared and considered to be unlucky? It's a number revered by witches. 
see. Robert, there are 13 lunar months in a year, 13 full moon S-bats, uh, lesser meetings, when witches are summoned by their deities to do service. Well, you know you have certain gifts. Yes. Your mother died at your birth, so you never understood them. How tragic for you to have this power all your life and not understand it. You probably tried to bury it, to deny it. Robin, there's nothing wicked in power, only in its misuse. But I never wanted it. You want to leave it to the others? You want to leave it to Vivian? No. Davis told me a great deal about Vivian the last couple of weeks. He came to me with grave concerns, and rightly. Robin, we live in a physical world. But the physical world is only a part of reality. There are forces, sometimes evil forces, that are as real as this chair, as this table. Forces that only want to dominate and degrade and corrupt. And Vivian... Vivian is such a force. What am I? What kind of a force am I? There are also forces of good, good and evil. That's the classic struggle. It's a battle that is never won. Are you trying to tell me that I have to fight Vivian? There's no other way. The field of battle changes over the centuries, but never the contest. I don't know if I can. I've got to get back in the kitchen. You know, what you've told me about Vivian, I would say she has been honing her powers to a fine razor's edge. I don't know what strength you're up against. I'll be with you in a minute, honey. I'll need a few things, Dave. The date, place, and hour of Vivian's birth, that's absolutely essential, and something of her person, fingernail clippings, a few strands of hair. A kind of dog I've made. And nothing that exotic. This volume. Take it, study it. It will help you to understand the scope of your gifts. It will help you develop them. And Robin, keep this black agate with you. It will help protect you from danger. Please, bring me what I ask for. I don't mean to frighten you, but it could save your life. Blessed be. What do you think? Yeah. How do you feel, though? I feel nervous. Don't be nervous. No one around for miles. Come on, here we go. We're going to have a band. Okay. Everybody out. Hey. Ah. Okay. Okay. You sure it's all right here? Yeah, it's okay. Look, let's start by practicing your quick draw, okay? My quick draw? Yeah. I don't know if I have one. No, no, Mrs. Moore said you had the power. Now, come on, let's do something. Um. What? The canoe. The canoe. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Sure. The canoe. Move. For my next... You're not concentrating. Move. I am. Well, then your attitude's wrong. Look, if you don't expect it to move, it won't. Now, remember what Mrs. Moore said? You can do it. You stop that planner right in its tracks. And the clock. All right, I'll try it again. No, don't just try. Do it. Now, go ahead. Yeah. You see? You did it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait a second. We need it back, though. Bring it back. No problem. Give me something. 
something else to do. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here, command the elements. The elements, you mean like uh, wind and rain or fire? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put it out. Come on, put it out. No, no, I mean, put it out. Put it out. You were right. Once I really knew I could do it and concentrated, that's all it took. Oh, let me see this. I got... What are you looking for? I want to know what else I can do. I can levitate. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> the egg this morning. Yep, I've got it right here, but I feel dumb carrying it around. It's like I'm out of the fourth century. See that? Okay, go. Okay. I want to talk to you. I have a class. I want to talk to you now. Look, Vivian, I know who you are and you know who I am. And as far as I'm concerned, we have nothing to do. And I certainly don't intend to stand around this hallway and talk about it. This way. In there. Get right to the point, Robin. No use wasting a lot of time on this. I want you off this campus. I was here first. Ocean is my school. And now it's mine, too. I think you'll like it better at Wilson. I don't think so. I like it here just fine. You're not staying, I can promise you that. Leave now and we won't have to get bloody about it. It's up to you. Forget it.
happening in here? Vivian, what's going on? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, I want you to tell me what happened. Let's just say it's none of your business, Mr. Nimmons. All right. I want you to have your parents in Mr. Clausen's office in the morning at 10. And you, you're the new girl. What's your name? Robin Prentice. Right. Well, that goes for your parents, too. Understood? Yes, sir. Vivian, understood? Absolutely. Then we'll all have a chance to talk about what happened here today and what happened in the back seat of your car last Wednesday. Uh, Vivian, I... Uh... I'm sure you'll feel a whole lot better making a clean breast of it. Not that I see anything wrong with... <laughs> with what my father would call a little slap and tickle, but, uh... You know how straight-laced Vice Principal Clausen is, and of course the school board, so... I think you'll just want to forget about this, won't you? Do have a nice day. You have two days, Robin. Two days, then you're dead. Two days! She said I had two days! She's just trying to psych you out. That's all part of it. You tell someone you're putting a spell on them, they start looking for symptoms. She didn't say anything about a spell. She said I had two days! But, Robin, you beat her back there. I didn't beat her back there. I almost didn't make it. And Mr. Nimmons had to come in. Dave, I could feel her power. I could feel it. Oh, Robin, look, it's a classic situation. Good guys against bad. What did we learn from John Wayne? Good guys never lose. We should be sure and tell that to Mrs. Hildebrand. Hey, wait a second. I told you, I want you to stay in the car. I'm coming with you. It doesn't look like anybody's home. We can't be sure, though. What if Vivian knows? What if she's waiting for us? Well, if she is, wouldn't you feel better having Glenda the good by your side? Hairbrush. Mrs. Moore needs something of her person if she's going to make the fetish. I think they used to keep a key under here. Does have a black cat. Let's find her where she get out of here. I've got it.
is all this? It's in the Book of Shadows. And he had me there. Robin Vivian worships the devil. The pentacle. The two points of the star directed upward, those are the horns of Satan. More. What is it? Uh, look, I could be wrong about this. I... Hey, come on, you're giving me a case of the creeps. What is it? What's wrong? Well, it's just that... You see, I, I've just never run into a hectite before. I read about frightened. Not just for us, but for yourself. She frightens you. Listen, Robin, do you think that there's any way that you could get out of town? Is there some place you can go? You know, these things have certain geographical parameters. Fifty, hundred miles might make a big difference. Hey, hey, what's going on? I can't leave. My father. Vivian has already heard him once, and he's coming home today, but he can't be moved, so I can't leave my father, and I won't leave Dave. Hey, Mrs. Moore, what is going on? Come on, tell us. When Vivian issued her threat, she said two days. You would be dead in two days. So that's tomorrow. Probably close to midnight. There's a full moon. This is more. Are you telling me that Vivian is going to kill me? I know that she is trying to kill you. And she might. It depends on a great number of things. Mostly in Vivian herself. All I can say is that she is a heck witch that's very rare maybe one or two in a whole century and on the full moon of the month trying to her birth sign she has powers that will be doubled but you must understand that her powers will only be slightly more just like i said i can't tell all i can say is that you are in grave danger you and dave and your father and you must do everything in your power to avoid any contact with her during the full moon tomorrow night Robin, you must believe me. She could use that night to destroy you. But there's got to be something we can do. Something. What are we going to do? Call the police. What would we say to them? What would they believe? There is a talisman. The crescent may offer you some protection. And I made a fetish using the strands of her hair. They're weak tools at best. They won't be enough. But take them. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. I'm sorry, dear. Don't be sorry. You did everything you could. Just remember, whatever Vivian says, whatever she may try to do to persuade you, don't see her tomorrow. Blessed be. Did you know that witches can fly? And not on broomsticks. <laughs> I know, astral projection. Uh-huh. 
That'd be kind of neat. They can also whistle up the winds. There's a formula here how to do that. Hey, that would be great. When we go sailing, instead of having to tack into a wind, you could just whistle up anything we need, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what time is it? I got 11.15. She would have called before this anyway. She's been waiting for tonight. Well, maybe if we drew a pentagram. I mean, there's something in here about taking your case directly to the moon goddess herself. Moon goddess? The Greeks call her Hecate. Hey, look, I think it would be worth it. I mean, like, if we did, if we made an appeal or something, you know? And where are we supposed to find her? And her H in the phone book? There are all kinds of rituals that I don't know anything about yet. Look, Robin, okay. I know we can... I'm gonna go check on my dad. Robin! Robin! Robin, don't answer the phone. It's gonna wake up my dad. Hello? Your father's sleeping quietly, Robin. You want to keep it that way. Don't tell Dave I'm on the phone. All right. Is it Vivian? No, it's the hospital. It's something about Dad's medication. Okay. What do you want? You know what I want, Robin. Meet me at school by the lab in ten minutes. I won't. Your father could so easily have a relapse. No. And then, of course, there's Dave. You wouldn't want anything to happen to Dave, now, would you? Ten minutes, Robin, or they both pay for your cowardice. Robin! Robin! You okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going upstairs to check on my dad. Do you mind if I spend some time with him? No, it's okay. Can you know something? I think we're gonna make it. Looks that way.
lose something, Robin? If you could see the look on your face. What have you there, an amulet? Don't you know, Vivian? Doesn't your magic tell you? It doesn't matter. A necklace of coral, an iron key, a hagstone. You think they'll stop me? Not tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. Robin? Robin, where are you? Robin? Robin, where are you? Oh, Robin, no. Robin. Robin. That's better. I want you to know I gave a great deal of thought to your punishment. Vivian. Listen to me, Robin. You should have listened a lot sooner. What made you think you could oppose me with your miserable little talents? A week from now, you won't even be remembered here. Not by Dave. Not by anyone. Vivian, please! You can't do this! Oh, can't I, Robin? But it's all planned. Actually, you should thank me for my kindness. Do you know what the punishment for witchcraft could be? Mutilation? The hand vice, a slow hanging. Myself, I, I prefer the classic, the burning. Burn, witch. Be released. Stop! 
Robin. Robin, are you all right? Dave, Vivian and her mother. I know, I saw. Look, we have to get out of here. No, we can't just leave. Robin, we have to. Dave, please. Robin, I saw the fire from two blocks away. We have to get out of here before somebody comes to investigate. Please. No. Robin, listen to me. It's over. You've got to think about tomorrow. You, you've got to go on from here. But it isn't over for me, Dave. It never will be. I'll help you. And I'll be with you.